I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Magic Mountain. It's ages five and up, two to six players, and it takes 15 minutes. Let me show you how to play. This is a cooperative game in which you are trying to help your students race through the woods to get to their master before the witches make it there. You need to get four students down the hill before three witches make it to the end. For game setup, this is a slanted game board. They have very easy inserts to place on the side to put it so it's at an incline. Make sure you are set up on a level space. Uh, they show where the students go. There are easy markers at the top and then each of the witches starting spots are indicated as well. Uh, you pick someone to go first. We usually pick the youngest person and you're just taking turns taking these marbles which symbolize the will of the wisps and you pick a starting spot to uh, place the marble and whatever it touches you're going to move the character to the next spot of that color. So this is a purple one. We're going to go ahead and place it here. It hits this student and then you need to, if there's another spot it potentially could go to, you need to, this student moves to the next purple spot, which is here. I'm gonna move quickly because if the purple had hit him again, then he could have gone multiple spots. Uh, but we're lucky, it just hit the student. It didn't hit any of the witches because then if it hits any of them, then they move to the next purple spot. You leave the willow with the wisp at the bottom take the next one the next go clockwise it's the next player's turn and they get to pick where to put this will of the wisp and uh we'll go ahead and have them place it here uh it hits this student and so move it along here and oh, okay wow we're having a really nice game the witches haven't moved forward yet and that's all you do there's a total of five so i'll show how that works here's a white will of the wisp um, we am going to start having some witches move along. So uh, this seems pretty likely we're going to hit a witch. Um, goes to the next white spot. Oop, there we go. Hit a witch. Where's the next white spot? It's all the way down here. Oh, goodness. Hit another witch. So they go all the way down to here and goes down. Uh, if you place one of the will of the wisps in a spot where I'm going to rig it. <laughs> so it goes like this and it doesn't hit anybody um, all the way down, then you have to advance one of the witches one spot forward. So maybe then you pick moving this one forward one if, if that happens, uh, which isn't all that infrequent. Uh, that it can happen quite a bit in a game, depending on how it works out. So here, this one would go to the next yellow spot, which is here. This one gets to go to this yellow spot. And it goes on, you're out of Will of the Wisps now. So you put them all back in the bag and you just keep on going. Later on, if you have them down here, we'll have um, a few people down here. And one of these goes along, wait, I want it to be, I'm gonna, it. Uh, if the yellow goes along, let's see if we can get this to do something fancy. Okay, the next yellow spot is all the way down here. Uh, the next yellow spot is all the way down here. Okay, we'll say it went over here and hit that guy because I want to show um, what it's like to enter. So there's no more yellows down below. So this student would get to be with the master and uh, you keep on going through what would happen to get one of the, we have white, purple. So if purple came along and hit, uh, he would go here. He, there's no more purples down below him. So he would go in here and then if the purple had gone over here, there's no purples down below and a witch would go along. And they have different difficulty levels. You can adjust this to whatever you like. If you don't win at first with getting four students in, you can adjust it that you just need to get three students in. Uh, they have a, you can play it where it's competitive and one person is on 
the team of the witches and the other person's on the team of the students and you're racing to get your characters down first. Uh, so there's a few different variations for play, but then this just, if you're playing a standard game, this is how you go about doing so. So that's how to play Magic Mountain. The target demographic for this game is little kids who want a fun, easy, cooperative game to play. That is, this is spot on for that. The rule complexity is so easy, very easy to set up, very easy to start playing within just a couple minutes of opening the box, which I really like. Um, how competitive is this game? It is cooperative in its base rules, but it can be challenging and exciting to beat the witches down the mountain. So there's still some excitement there, even though it is a cooperative game. Uh, the replay value is medium, just because the game is essentially Plinko Plus. So as much as you'd want to play Plinko, is how much you'd like to play this game. They do have a few things where they have uh, variants to the rules. My kids ironically really like the non-cooperative version of this the best, it seems like, where we race each other down the mountain. Uh, they seem to really to enjoy. So they have some different rule options in there that I think help make there be more opportunities to play the game, but it still is kind of a medium. Every once in a while you pull it out and play it, but it's not the type of game where like, oh gosh, I want to play this every Friday night. This is our go-to game. It's it's every once in a while, um, and it's very fun and cute for that. Similar games, if you like this one, uh, Kabuto Sumo is a very kid-friendly uh, dexterity game where you have sumo beetles trying to, it's like a coin pusher game where you're trying to push each other off the edge of a board, and it's cute and simple and easy and pretty great for kids. And then also, if you're just looking for a cooperative game for like a five-year-old, uh, Outfoxed is the best five-year-old cooperative game. It's essentially a uh, clue, but cooperative with a great fox theme, and there's a decoder, and it's fantastic. And I've never met a kid that didn't like it. Uh, so lots of good options for you. You should check out Magic Mountain. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time from Game Like a Mother.